let's talk about Kratos and God of War. I think he'd make a really cool me, but more importantly, there's more Ragnarok news, right, Caboose? Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is um it's it's not necessarily like big news or anything. It's just kind of like a conversation piece more than anything. But I guess I want to see what everyone here is thinking in terms of uh what what this topic is about really and essentially to the gist of it is a former developer who worked at sony santa monica uh he was on stream talking to his chat and and pretty much was saying oh yeah like there's like a really good chance that the new god of war game god of war ragnarok will end up on the ps4 alongside the ps5 mm -hmm. and now granted this started to like run a little rampant and everyone thought that this was sort of a confirmation of such and he had to come out in a tweet and basically say like hey I have zero knowledge I'm just speaking my opinion and what I think and I guess just the question that I want to bring to you guys is do you think that God of War Ragnarok will end up on the PS4 because I think there is a like really high chance of that being the case. Yeah, I think not only is there is that going to happen I think there's a chance it ends up on PC as well. Ooh. Oh, at launch? No, I think oh. maybe a year. Oh, okay. down the line. Yeah. yeah. So then, do you think this year we're getting the first God of War on PC? That would make sense. Yeah, that uh, that makes total sense to me. Mm. But I yeah, I think, I, think, I think cross gen is something that we're going to be seeing for the next year or two. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I mean, Sony sold uh, what? Uh, 114 million PS4s. You don't just abandon that player base, mm -hmm. even like especially with one of your biggest IPs right now being yeah. God of War. Well, yeah, right. And especially with even the biggest issue is you can't stock the PS5 fast yeah. enough. Like there's yeah. like I think they've sold 4.5 million units, which is great, but they need to make you know a hundred million more, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. then you know you're in a better position. But yeah, in the meantime, like uh, there's no point in turning your back on a. a dedicated consumer base yeah, yeah. And i yeah. think it, i think you also have to look at the the development cycle as well i mean god of war only came out a few years ago what are the chances that they got halfway or a quarter or even like halfway let's just for argument's sake through development before they actually started looking at the ps5 dev kits and then saying okay right. what can we do uh moving forward it's going to be a while until we're seeing full-fledged ps5 games unless you're looking at uh, a game like I don't know, Ratchet, and Clank. Ratchet and Clank, Demon yeah. Souls, yeah. stuff like that. Stuff that they knew 100% were going to be committed to developing a PS5 game. Mm. Like so Ragnarok. So you I, don't, I don't think, see it. Do you think that... So you don't think Ragnarok's built for PlayStation 5 and then they, you know, put the downgraded version on PS4? I think it's the opposite, where it's built for PS4 and then they're upscaling. I think it's the exact yeah. same thing we're yeah. seeing with uh, the New Horizon. Uh, Gorilla Studio, they probably started working on it halfway or argument say halfway through they started getting ps5 development kits and then they said yeah. okay now we can upscale it mm -hmm. for ps5 give it better frame rates give it better resolution similar to stuff. miles morales too like yeah. uh, they just you know plop in ray tracing they're like look at this looks yep. great yeah, like it, that's, exactly. it's fine. that was the example that i was going to bring up in that like you can have a game like miles morales that still plays runs does everything that the game needs to do on ps4 but mm -hmm. when you do get it on a PS5, like playing it at 60 FPS, having mm -hmm. the ray tracing, the upgraded visuals, like you notice some of those changes if you're making right. the jump. And mm -hmm. I feel like the same could apply to what we're going to get with Horizon 2, what we're going to get with this next God of War game, where the game, especially a God of War game that isn't necessarily open world, kind of a linear sort of game. Uh, I feel like there's still, like, like the la you look at The Last of Us Part Two, for example, a PS4 game, just a straight up PS4 game. Yeah. That has that has pushed the limit as far as I think those consoles can go, and and it looks incredible. So yeah. if games can still look that good, like I'm fine with them still ending up being on the PS4. So I can see God of War Ragnarok in that position where it comes out on PS4, but the PS5 version maybe has the full 60 FPS, like a native 60 yeah. FPS. Right. Um, I don't know if like ray tracing could be a thing. You can have that in there. Upgraded visuals, this, that, and the other. That'll just make the PS5 experience that much better. See, um, I, I'm a bit disappointed by that. Like, I was really, really hoping, especially because God of War just came out like 2018. Like, it's mm -hmm. still yeah. fairly new. So, you know that, um, you know, and this is from a studio that is owned by PlayStation. So, mm -hmm. you know that they knew the next gen console was coming out. I would have hoped that they were developing this game for next gen and then downscaling it for PlayStation 4 because I think we all knew it would be available on PlayStation 4. They're not going to, like you said, Riley, say goodbye to that audience um, yeah. because especially with how 
um, the PlayStation 5 release has been going. But for me, it's a bit disappointing because of the, yeah, graphics are cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I've never been a gamer that's like, I need that, you know, uh, 120 frames per second. Like, I, I don't care, really care about that. I want a great experience. Sure. And with what we saw from Ratchet and Clank, it just, the things that you could do, just, you know, falling pretty much no load times, right? Just right. falling yeah. into another world. I want to see some innovation in terms of gameplay mechanics go into the new God of War, uh, God of War Ragnarok, just because I feel like if there's any franchise to do it, you need a mythical franchise and that's God of War. <laughs> you sure. know what I mean? Um, so I, I, I just wonder if from a development standpoint, if it's even easy to like have a game that's being made for the next gen to then downgrade it for the, like last gen, you know, I feel like it's definitely easier. Yeah. I was going to say probably like taking it and having, making sure like, first of all, first and foremost, that it runs on the last gen console right. to then see like, okay, now how can we push this for next gen Yeah, is the, is a bit more of an easier process. You're probably sure. right, but I, I'm still disappointed. <laughs> I get, well, I, I, I totally understand that. Like you drop, you know, $629 plus tax on a brand new console. Mm -hmm. And you want you want these things that help justify your purchase. Like I get mm -hmm. that, I get that yeah. desire. Uh, but I like it's gonna be great. I'm sure, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll this, we know that. the story is gonna kill it. Like that team. Oh, Corey Balrog, just like that mind of his, right? Yeah. Um, but it's just it's this weird like kind of tiptoe that we always play with a next gen console. It's like yeah. Yeah. okay. You know, you're going to get it. And if you do get it, and if you're lucky enough that you can get it, um, you know that you're kind of waiting for that game that's like made for next gen or that experience, whether it is a demo, right? That's like made for next gen. And, you know, with Cold War and how they did the guns and with the adaptive uh, triggers, I yeah. kind of got that. Uh, Astro's Playroom, yeah. Spider-Man, you do feel that those adaptive triggers a bit more, but because I'm yeah. not fixated on... Um, graphics, although Miles Morales still looks great in fidelity mode, um, I, it's just like, should I have waited for the black version of the PlayStation? No. <laughs> you know? That's what it all comes down to, isn't it? Right? It, it's just like, how long do you think that we're going to have to wait till we see a game that is made for next gen? Yeah. Next year. I, next year. You think, I think you'll so. start to see them. Yeah, I think you'll start to see them. I like in terms of like take full advantage of the tech, probably three, four years. Right. Well, like, like for instance, like Suicide happen. Squad killed the Justice League 2022. Like that's only next gen game. Yeah. Yeah. So right? Like you're going to see that happening. Yeah. 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 So other than that, like in terms of uh, adventure, action adventure game, first party game, like first person game, mm. what game is coming out next year? Like, That'll be a be tough one. First big, big, big PlayStation yeah. Five exclusive. Like the exclusive title showcasing everything the PlayStation Five. Uh, that's I mean, gonna be Spider Man Two. Right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Spider Man Two. Spider Man Two Twenty Twenty Two will be straight up yeah. PS Five. Yeah. That's gonna be what it that's is. Gonna I believe that. PlayStation Five. I I honestly do yeah. think that God of War is gonna be kind of treated like the swan song of this, you know, mid console uh, transition. Yeah. Because it is that strong of a, a title that it can serve as that. Spider-Man 2, I, I think it's a very, another great, great title. Yeah. But that being said, I don't think it has the legs like God of War does, where it is like, this is the end cap. I, no disrespect, Caboose, no yeah. disrespect. I just do not think that based on like sales and recognition that God of War serves as that end cap in terms of this is really? what the PS4 can do. We can't do anything else. Whereas... Spider-Man might not be able to do that. Well, I, well, I, I think I, I think on that point, like Kratos is like PlayStation, where Spider-Man right. is not necessary. So I, I I totally understand what. But you're see, saying. that's why I think Spider-Man is bigger because Spider-Man is this like worldwide IP, universal, right? Yeah. yeah. And so when people find out that the only place they can try this game is on the PlayStation Four, it becomes the system yeah, seller. But, but, but I think that there's a better person or a better perspective of being this is why you need to invest in a PS5 exclusively yes. because of P Peter Parker. Yeah. Um, Rather than be that end cap uh, to a PS5. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think okay. I, uh, I see what Steve's saying. Like, it's yeah. definitely PlayStation 5 will be 
that argument for Spider-Man will be, okay, this is the Spider-Man experience that you've been wanting and yeah. we've made it beautiful on PlayStation 5. But in terms of that game, that this is why you like PlayStation exclusives and yeah. you want to play them on the PlayStation 5, okay. I don't know when we'll see that game and what it'll be. Yeah, I yeah. guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But I do see, like, when Spider-Man 2 comes around, like, that's going to be the game where... Sony really starts to get serious about selling some PlayStation yeah. 5s oh, and sure. really and wants to get those numbers up because I mean like just think about it like the idea of potentially being able to play as Miles and Peter if they introduce like co-op in there or something like that like there could be there could be some huge ideas and if it is built from the ground up as a just exactly. a PS5 game taking advantage of that tech fully uh we could see like a really special game no, for sure. And yeah. I think this is also a great opportunity for Sony to then start looking at, okay, special edition PS5s. It's already been out for a year right. or so, right? Yeah. Like this is the time to come out full swing, no pun intended, with here's the Spider-Man PS5. Here, here's the branded top and bottom. Here's the, yeah. the controller and everything. We're getting away from the white. This is the yeah, time. I wish yeah. that pun was intended because it was very good. So. <laughs> it was <laughs> really good. <laughs> very subtle, yeah. 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 Um, Oh man, I I'm so hopeful that like I'm so hopeful for this next God of War. Mm -hmm. But I just uh you know what? Maybe that explains because I'm afraid that I was afraid that it would feel dated. You get what I'm saying? But I keep forgetting that it's coming out soon. <laughs> like yeah. it's coming yeah. out this year. Like it's happening. And maybe that's why the studios really pushed it that it was coming this year. Because sure. I feel like yeah. maybe the scenes it wasn't slated to come out this year because how they announced that it was just such a shock that we yeah. just got that announcement and it was ha it's happening in a few months right there's no you part of us here and anybody here that thinks that god of war ragnarok could be like the miles morales equivalent for god of war i don't like, think so. that's, full that, i was people? just about to bring that up is like i was hoping that wouldn't because it's only been three years yeah. I, I really don't think so. And I think I don't, again, I don't think I, so. I'm right. still of the mind that it's pushed 2022, early 2022, because I oh, still feel like I do think so. I think it's it's a ambitious turnaround. Let's just say that. Yeah. Um, I don't think that will affect whether or not it comes out PS4 versus and PS5. Uh, but I do think that it gets kind of pushed uh, mm -hmm. aside a little bit because it's going to be a full fledged game. I don't I really okay. don't see Sony Santa Monica being like, this is the lost legacy of God of War. But I think this Sony is. Sony is very good at keeping to their release dates. Rare, like in terms of setting that date or setting that time frame and not being too far out from it. So I feel like if they're delaying it, it would be still this year. Are they though? I mean, look at Last of Us. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I don't know. I, I, but I, I, but I, I say what you mean. Have their issues. Yeah. But they've also gotten better trying to time. I mean, because like Last of Us also got hit with delays resulting from production from the That's pandemic, true. right? Yeah. So, yeah. and the thing is, when they announced this God of War, we were already in the pandemic, right? Yeah, That's uh, true. They knew exactly. Like they didn't even have to announce the date. They could have just yeah. confirmed the title if they were unsure about the release schedule for that game, right? They would have just put God of War Ragnarok. They would have never included that date. I feel we're like they're willing so to bet too in the date that it's, it's, it could be either that it's not a full fledged game. Um, this mm. is the first time I'm hearing those rumors and maybe that's why they're so confident that it's coming out because it's kind of like the side quest for Kratos. And let's face it. God of War has a lot of those, right? Yeah. Like a lot of, a yeah, lot sure. of God of War right so it, it may make sense maybe they're continuing that trend with this new um way kratos is going right um or they're just they've just been working on it for so long and they know that it, it's coming out for playstation 4 and they just want the game out before working on a dedicated playstation 5 title yeah yeah i mean i, I do think it is a sequel i think it will be the full sequel because i feel like ragnarok would be very misleading of a title mm-hmm because that's yeah. like the big what event that they're up. building up, right? To, right? Yeah. 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 So it's like, like I, I feel like they'd call it like, like what's his son's name? Kratos' Atre son's Atreus? spin off event, you know, Atreus so like Adventures. That. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah something like that. And I'd be like, okay, that's obviously a spin off. But like, I feel like Ragnarok's such a bold title. They're probably not, they're probably going to just drop it. That's a, a fair point. It would get so many people's hopes up 
just to have that would on backfire them. on them in a hurry yeah. if they marketed mm. it that way yeah yeah and you're right like i feel like they would have wanted to establish if it wasn't a full game right on the title right um yeah. they would have said god of war atreus is like journey atreus yeah, like not yeah. being a you know a punk kid atreus so let me, not let me put boy. on um let me put on the tinfoil hat for a second myself, okay? okay. And lean oh. and lean into a little bit about what Steve was saying about maybe the game getting delayed. Okay. Oh. So from what we understand, is Horizon 2 kind of are we expecting it sort of that fall holiday 2021? I think it's Probably. being slated yeah, kind of like the summer to fall winter. Okay. Yeah. If it's for right. summer, if it's for summer, ignore me. But if it's slated for that fall to winter time, right. Um like part of me is like, well, if they were willing to even do like a CG trailer for Horizon, why is it that for God of War, a game exactly. all played for 2021, all we got was literally a, a logo. logo. Exactly. You know? We're still waiting for Metroid Prime four. Yeah. So. yeah. And Bayonetta three. So. That's true. So and, I mean And we kind of talked about this earlier in an earlier show where we're once again talking about God of War and more specifically, I think it was Spider-Man 2, where we were kind of trying to figure out what is Sony's slate. For this year i mean right. the further that we get away from january 1st to wherever ratchet and clank ends up that right. kind of dictates what this calendar year looks like for sony because traditionally i mean other than 2020 where they put last of us and ghost of tsushima so close together they like to have their games set apart uh to give people yeah. some downtime in between so if ratchet and clank kind of slips into the summer early summer i could definitely see horizon be that fall game and they just push God of War out. Yeah, yeah right. Well, you see right now, especially the big three are all playing everything close to the best. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, like like what we don't really know what Nintendo is doing. We don't really know what Xbox is doing outside of Halo and Fall. We don't like there, there are so many things that they need to clarify in the immediate future that we're waiting on. And I think they're all just kind of sitting on their hands waiting for someone to shoot first right now. Yeah, right. That's yeah. true. Because I think Nintendo in particular, they're probably sitting on a lot of titles that are done or near done. Right. And they can roll out throughout the year at their leisure. Yeah, I can see that happening too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I got distracted because for some reason Blade is trending um, on Twitter. Oh? <laughs> oh, is it because of Deadpool? Yeah. Um, they, so... want an M- uh, they want an R-rated movie for Blade, right? Oh, I mean, makes sense. That would make ton of sense for <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> so our it. next topic yeah. no. <laughs> five minutes is why should blade be rated r <laughs> um so yeah anyways back to god of war i do feel um that i want to be hopeful so i'm not going to put any negative delayed energy out there i'm, I'm still going to stick to the release of this year um, and just hope that they're, they know how they're marketing this. They know that they want to get all of us nerds in their grasp and then do a huge reveal. And I think that's why we just got that name, like the name of the game and the release date just to yeah. peak our interest. Yeah. 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 They, def- they definitely out. just wanted to like set up like the year one. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I think, I think PlayStation's goal is primarily right now is they'll probably lock up as many licensed like installments or releases that they can. You already see them doing that with like they secured two Bethesda games, right. which kind of handcuffs Xbox in a way because now that's exclusive to PlayStation Five for a year. Yeah. And then uh, Final Fantasy, like I think we'll probably see Crash Bandicoot stuff like that. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So okay, now that we have some time, what are our theories for this God of War? Now, if you guys have not played God of War, oh boy, um, just I'm sorry. We're gonna fight. It's Thor. gonna get spoilery, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spoiler e, so warning. Yeah. But do we think that it's gonna open with a fight with Thor? Because I, I feel not. like I feel no. I hope so. I hope so. Mm. I hope it sets up a huge fall for Kratos. Like maybe there's a like, dramatic like event Kratos. That- Kratos gets killed in the first fifteen minutes. <laughs> I don't know. It like, sounds like we to another PlayStation. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that. But... Thor comes out with a golf club. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! But uh, I mean. No, I, I wouldn't want them to just retread old ground where like it opens with this yeah. big fight or anything. I'd rather just like 
I want there to be the buildup, you know, similar no. like when you fight Zeus in the last no. in the in, in what is it, God of War three? Yeah. Yeah. You fight him. Um, you know, but, like I want there yeah. to be that like that anticipation, like you're but, waiting but, to but, take this dude down. But yeah. wouldn't it be imagine if Ragnarok, like it's just like, yeah, Thor is a part of it, but what about Odin? Well, like, what if there's bigger fish? Well, that, fish that could Odin. be the God of War 3. Yeah, you know? that's what I'm thinking. Like, you got to yeah. have that lead in. And again, like, to Kaboos' point, like, I don't want to retread that. You know, having that awesome epic fight at the, the front and then ending yeah. off with a, a similar fight again because, yeah. I mean, we're, we're clearly leading up to some sort of brawl between the two. So I would much rather have that slow anticipation where you know mm. Thor is in the background somewhere just waiting. Yeah. I feel like it's so bold when games or just any medium like movies, when they pick up like, okay, for example, the matrix, right? Yeah. When they pick up right after the events of the previous mm -hmm. game, it just puts so much more at stake for the viewer or for the gamer because you're right. like, wait, what's supposed to come. Right. So it makes it for me more exciting to play into the story and figure out what's happening because it doesn't feel like you're, you're, you know, kind of going back in back in tutorial mode. You're, right, you're just yeah. continuing with that amount of excitement. I feel like we could probably get the best of both worlds and just that there may be like an opening action set piece or something that doesn't sure. necessarily involve Thor. Cause I would, I would just like there to be that level of build up to fighting Thor. Like yeah. this is going to be a big deal. A lot of like, you know, it's just, it feels like almost the entire franchise in general has kind of been leading up to a battle like that between Kratos and Thor. And so I wouldn't want there to be like my level one Kratos that clearly has none of the upgrades yeah. fighting Thor. And the whole point of it is that I'm going to get my ass kicked. You know, like that's that's what the whole point of it was in, in the first God of War is that like you kind of get beaten up and you just run into him again, right? So like um, I would rather just that I level my guy up. I get Kratos upgraded, ready for the battle. And then when you go into that final fight, it's like it is the best version of Kratos. It is, is the the ultimate version of Kratos for that game. And working so then, off working yeah, off that, um, the thing that made that fight so special in the first game was because it was unexpected. Now yeah. people are coming into this one, and being like, "Okay, when's he gonna fight? When's that awesome set piece?" I mm. think, it, in my opinion, it's a lot better when it, if it even came like ten hours in because. Again, we're we're all working off this one post credit cutscene. Who's to say that starts the game off? Maybe there is a tutorial stage or something, and then yeah. you know, five hours in, that's when that scene happens. At, yeah. Well, at yeah, I was I was gonna ask, how does that go then if you don't start off with that fight just because of how they left it, right? Um, how Kratos like it just seems like that's naturally where that continuation would go. So where does it pick up? Where's Kratos at this point if they don't start with that fight? Because you already know what happened before. Right. I, I think obviously the the two come down the mountain. They, this is all after the revelation that they, they, they read on the wall and all that. I think now yeah. you're looking at a Kratos that is trying to prevent what is almost inevitable at this point and starting to, to yeah exactly i think you start getting into a lead up like that and then all of a sudden you know thor shows up and now there's a wrench thrown in his entire plan and right. that kind of sets off the the main story yeah well i mean look at if you look at what's already happened in the series like how did kratos become the god of war right you know he killed the god of war yep, god of yeah. war is a title right so i feel like his son will probably inherit that title mm, so definitely if I were to guess, so definitely what you're saying is the third God of War will actually be the God of Thunder. I, th I think, I think, uh, I don't think Thor will kill him. I think his son will kill him. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, I really don't. He's okay. I don't, the son's kind of annoying throughout the film. Yeah. Well, I, th I think a lot of it's going to be like a coming of age story yeah, sure. and like, yeah, you know, like something will motivate Kratos. Like, I don't know if his son will get taken by Thor or something like that. So, like, there'll be, like, motivation to get back there to, like, embrace his destiny, probably. I don't know. Like, I, I just, that's how I would probably set it up. But, yeah, who knows? No, I agree that the buildup here is probably, like, the passing of the torch mm, to yeah. uh, to Atreus. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for the passing of the torch, but we'll just have yeah, to. We're, we're probably still one more game from that, to be I honest. Want, you know, like. <laughs> it's like, with what happened with Last of Us. 
and then God of War. There's been too much passing of the torch. <laughs> There's been too much, especially after that that reveal, the writing's on the wall. I was like, no, they like there was a little bit of me that the like writing jumped is literally out. on the wall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I jumped out of like, you know, being invested in the story. And I was like, they can't do this to me. They can't do this to me. I live for Kratos. Um, but they probably will. <laughs> they probably well, won't. like in the stories like like uh loki is thor's brother so i'm assuming that atreus who i mean yeah is loki is gonna take yeah. on some sort of role similar to that right. either if he's kidnapped or or something yeah. Maybe, yeah maybe thor came for the rightful heir of something maybe something happened with odin and he needs his loki yeah, maybe he takes yeah. him as like, you know, a surrogate sibling or something like that to fulfill a destiny. Who knows? I mean, we're just a bunch of people sitting here. We're not Corey Barlog, <laughs> yeah. who obviously has a way better comprehension of where this story is going. I mean, I, I have full faith in him. Uh, well, and, and yeah. that's the thing. No matter where this story goes, I feel like fans are still going to go crazy about yeah. it. Um, the team there is just so good at hiding things and like keeping everything secret. There was that Easter egg that even months after the game mm -hmm. released, no one figured out. So I feel like we're still going to be involved. We'll, we'll still come up with our theories and we'll have fun talking about it. But for now, that's the end of this episode. Uh, Riley, thank you so much for joining us today. Although you are my arch nemesis, it, it's been a pleasure reconnecting through these tough times. Yeah, it's been a blast. I, I miss all you guys. Ah, I miss you too. Miss you too. Uh, <laughs> where can everybody find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at the Riley Little. All right, thank you, Riley. Um, Steve, you got some articles. Now we're out of vacation mode. So what I'm can we expect mode. on the website? Uh, yeah, I'm leading up to obviously the the release of Hitman Three. I'm expecting you know to turn out some content for that. I'm very much looking forward to that game. But yeah, in the in the meantime, head over to SquadState.com. We've got a whole bunch of great writers over there doing all sorts of things. So there's always content going up there each day. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, you can also find me on Twitter at Svigvari uh, to keep up with uh, more things I'm doing. So yeah, do it there. You took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, check out the website. Really cool stuff. And, you know, Steve, I'm looking forward for that Hitman uh, stuff. Any theories or can we just post theories all the time? We need a section just about. We're not all the tinfoil hat wearers, Camille. <laughs> I, guess not, I guess not. But Caboose, you sometimes don the tinfoil. Um, can we expect any theories about superhero games coming out? Maybe Spider-Man? What can we expect? Uh, anything you have coming up? Yeah, yeah, still just keeping up with everything. I mean, Gotham Knights comes out this year, so yeah. I'm just kind of keeping an eye out, seeing what's going on with that. There's some articles that have come out that gave a little more detail, so I'm going to be covering some uh, some content around that soon. Uh, you can check me out at youtube.com slash caboose for that. Also streaming twitch.tv slash caboose as well. Make sure you keep up to date with everyone here at Squad here every single week, Monday. Um, and then, yeah, Twitter and Instagram at Caboose EK. All right, thank you. I am going to be probably playing more Call of Duty. I was um, <laughs> getting really upset and uh, venting to uh, my co-host here about the DMR and COD. So I think I actually may start playing with a DMR. So I got to level that up. That's what I'm up to this week. I'm going to take it easy. You can find me at this is Camco, but make sure to stay tuned for everything squad at Squad State on Twitter, as well as the website squadstate.com. Thank you guys so much for watching at home. It was a really great episode, uh, great um, chats and theories. Please let us know if you have any crazy theories or topics that you want us to discuss, and we'll bring them to the show. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.